Hey guys, Justin here, and welcome back to an episode of Burger Shop 2. And in this episode, we're gonna continue on our story mode. Last time we completed level 1 to 6 in the diner area, and this time we're gonna continue our journey in the diner to continue our journey. Starting with level 6, level 7, with the businesswoman. So let's do it. Alright, here we go, start with uh, breakfast again. We have uh, toasted English muffin, orange juice, and donuts. Of course, we're gonna go with orange juice because we- And here's the business lady description. Business ladies are very busy with business stuff, but they love to recharge with a quick and tasty chick chicken meal. Chicken, pasta, salmon, salmon, and chocolate. So yes, there will be some chocolate things coming up, which includes some of the chocolate filled donuts, and something like that, and of course the chocolate things, as you know from the first game, which they, she likes chocolate sundaes and chocolate milkshakes. And uh, she likes pasta, which will be actually served during the dinner section. And the chicken, of course, chicken burgers, all that stuff. So we have today, they actually also showed us actually what uh, type of people do you get every single day. We have both the normal dudes and also the uh, the uh, business lady. Let's check out how the, uh, the game described the random dudes. The dude. The dude is very is a very easygoing guy. He will eat anything you can make for him and will wait patiently while you prepare it. The dude hasn't met a food that he doesn't like. Let's start, level 7. There's the orange machine. And also I want to say is before we start, orange machines, orange juice machines and these drink machines during breakfast section is actually very satisfying when you hear it. So I'm gonna shut up and you're gonna hear the sound of the orange juice actually filling up in the cup. It's actually very satisfying. Oh man, that was satisfying. I don't know whether you guys think it's actually satisfying, but I really actually like it. Oh, where's the drink? <laughs> oh, wait, where's the drink? Throw these over. Okay, one more egg on there. Get the toast. Oh, that was wrong. One on there and one on there. Now, no spoilers, there will be clowns coming in later on in the, in the game, but not now. And of course, you guys know how stupid the clowns are. Done with this, and they also show up the different uh, icons down there, which is actually pretty cool. On to level 8, dress for success. So on to this one, let's get the chicken sandwich now for the business ladies. There they go. Chicken sandwich. I have to fill that, unfortunately. So last guy is this, and also the uh, drink. Perfect. Level eight done. Now we're on to level nine, which is dinner again. Helper machines. Now the game is going to start to introduce ham uh, helper machines, which of course is actually the same thing as the last game. We will have the Burger Tron, but there will be an extra feature for the Burger Tron, which is actually kind of useless. That extra feature, but sometimes it can be useful. For the extra feature and we also have the four uh bonuses that is actually the same we have the money bonus we have the speed bonus but we don't have a cookie bonus we have a lollipop bonus and we also don't have the happy bonus they change it into a freeze bonus which is actually the exact same thing basically all of the thing of the four bonus that from this game in this game is the same as burger shop one but it's just a different version so Helper machines, here we go, so lollipops, you see, it's not cookies this time, it's not cookie bonus, it's a lollipop bonus. And we have the speed power up, which is, again, you know what it is. And we have the burger bot, we don't need the burger bot right now, so I'm gonna go with the speed power up. Oh my gosh, why everyone ordering the same thing here? Yeah, there's the speed power over there for that chicken, let's throw one chicken out and I'm gonna throw one in. And I'm gonna serve this, which you should know what it is. Immediately, as soon as you use that, the things will be sped up and they make the stuff very quickly. Basically, it's like instant. Okay, so that's why I make use of this bonus and then just go ahead and do the things quickly. It will disappear after a while, so that's why you need to go fast. But it can help really save you time and immediately serve the things instead of actually waiting for the stuff to fill in. Done with that round and on to uh, number 10 here, Pip Pip Cheerio. 
for breakfast time again, we have glass of milk, toasted English muffin, and sausage links. Let's go do sausage. And we have the old chap, which is actually the new guy that introduced into this game. Now, this guy actually is very funny. He wants to read a menu before ordering. But he does order any everything. He does order actually anything that the menu is actually on, but he just needs to read the menu. So before you actually uh, have him to serve him anything, you need to actually give him the menu, which the menu actually comes out on the conveyor belt, which is pretty funny. This chap is old fashioned and prefers to see a menu before he orders. Just give him his menu and he won't make trouble. So, basically, that's what it is. Let's go ahead and play. So, here's the menu you can see. It's <laughs> so funny, this thing. So, there are some menus right there. Which, there he is. And you just give him the menu, wait for him to read. And then he will order things like normal. So, it's just a little bit extra process, but. Oh my gosh. Oh, we actually got a speed bonus. Let's go and make use of the speed bonus here. We got more menus coming out, so it means more chaps coming in here. Wow, that's a lot of things for that chap. Oh my gosh, this is not cool. Sometimes, okay, here's a sausage. We got one more old chap coming in, which the burger trying to really know what he's gonna order, which is actually three sausage. So he's gonna wait for the menu to be done and three sausage. <laughs> wow, old chap, you want three sausage, huh? That's a little too much, man. <laughs> Just kidding. Down to level 10, on to level 11. I say smashing menus. So let's go and do the uh, the onion rings now, I think, or lots of soda first. Of course, we have the old chaps again. There they are. Oh, wrong drink. There's the menu again. Menu again. Let's see what the old chap orders. He can order anything, so that's why. Wow, everyone is having the same thing right now. What the hell? Why everyone is ordering the same thing? No one is ordering the, uh... No one is ordering the, uh, orange soda yet. Oh, there we go. And there goes this guy. We have more old chaps coming in because there's still a menu right there. There he is. Just gonna mix some things, why not? No more old chaps afterwards, looks like. Oh, looks like no one will actually want that anymore, so just trash that. And we're done! Introducing the old chap, which is actually pretty funny. And good day, old chap. <laughs> On to level 12 here. So we have desserts, chicken soup, and steak. It's been a while, so let's get the, let's get the steak, which is basically uh, the same as the, uh, the uh, chicken. Basically, just throw it into the oven and wait for it to be done. And there we go, there's that. And there's a steak right there. Need a coke. For this chap. Unfortunately for the um, the speed bonus doesn't affect the old chap reading the menu, so that's why you actually need to wait. Why that guy actually wants steak? Why the lady actually wants steak? I thought he she always liked to go with uh, chicken. I already have a chicken ready for her over there. More steak. And there's a the chicken. And there's a chap here. And done. Level 12 done. And next time we have actually three more levels for this area. So that's why we're gonna go through these last three areas as well. Trapped in a box, let's do it. This is what do we have. Sausage sandwich, which is the sausage muffin that you always ate. Glass of milk, toasted English muffin. Let's get with the toasted English muffin first. And we have mime. Basically, the mime has a hard time deciding what to eat. So he copies the order of the person before him. <laughs> what other people are eating. So basically, you have a normal dude comes in and then the mime comes in and gonna order the exact same thing. So later on, there'll be actually some funny things, which is actually an old chap following a mime. I mean, a mime following an old chap. Because the old chap wants to read the menu, then the mime will also actually wants to read the menu. <laughs> it's actually the funny thing. And then since the old chap ready to order, he's gonna order the exact same thing. So that's the funny thing. And also there will be clowns later on. So that's why this guy's gonna order something, <laughs> order something stupid as well when he follows a clown. Let's do it. 
So, we have toasted English muffins now. There they are. And here's the mine. Yep, there it goes. The exact same order. So. And because it's the exact same order, so it's still following the orange juice thing. <laughs> Everyone's ordering orange juice now. <laughs> yep, and, this, and then uh, more coming up, and we're gonna more, order more things, but probably it's just. Uh, I think it's following this guy now. Uh, let's see who's gonna follow. More mimes coming in. Yep, there it goes. Orange juice. Got that. And are there any more mimes? No. Nice. And let's go to the map now, and we have power-ups now for 14. Let's choose a power-up. We have got, there's a freeze patience power-up, which is actually exactly the same as the happy bonus in the first game. But we don't need that right now. Let's go to the lollipops. There's the lollipops. I'm going to teach you how to use it. Basically, it's just the happy bonus. Basically, it's the happy bonus of the first game, and I mean the cookie bonus of the first game, and then you can just go ahead and uh, they, in this game, they just switched it into lollipops instead. Okay, we have mimes also as well, so that's why they were gonna copycat again. I just call them the copycat because that's exactly what they do. Oh my gosh. That's the funny thing about the mimes, because it just comes in non-stop. And then whoever they follow, they just order that. It's so, fine. So This is the funny thing. No mimes right now, actually, but I think mimes coming in. Yep, there they go. And there they go. Exactly the same thing. I need to surf that guy. But he has a lot of patience right now, so that's why it doesn't matter. And getting four lollipops doesn't matter. Done with this level 14. And on to level 15, diner done. We have salmon, chicken soup, and lasagna. Let's, let's get let's the lasagna. And here we go, so we have the uh, menu, so that's why if the if a uh, dude following, if a mime follow an old chap, the, the mime actually also wants to see the menu. Yeah, that's the funny thing. Yep, yep, there it goes. <laughs> Order a drink of coke again. Lasagna. I hope actually we can actually see the menu following a mime. That would be funny. Oh, this guy follows, so copycat. Exactly the same thing, and exactly the same thing again. And menu, and it looks like it's a mime following. Is it? No, 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 it's just two old chaps. This guy want a drink here. And done with the diner. Your new burger shop restaurant is a huge success. Serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner in one restaurant is a genius idea. You congratulate yourself for thinking outside the box. Even as you start anew, you're consumed by the past. Who sabotaged your original restaurant and why? And how? And where? No, wait, you know where? Where was your restaurant? The detective you hired is completely useless. I have found two birds, a gramophone, and a coat rack. A compressed a compass, two beetles, a, bowl, a bowling ball. As you said about building your next restaurant location, you realize that you're going to have to do your own detective work. No amount of found gramophones is going to solve this mystery. And next time will be the, I think it's the boardwalk. Yep, is the boardwalk coming up? Or is it the boardwalk? Yes, it is the boardwalk, I think. We can go and check it out. Actually, good news, we have unlocked it, relax mode and challenge mode. Let's go and check whether it's actually the boardwalk. Yes, it's the boardwalk. So diner and then boardwalk afterwards. We have extreme mode as well, so that's why that would be fun. That would be fun. We have uh, extreme board boardwalk. So next is boardwalk. So I'll see you guys next time for boardwalk. Peace. <laughs>